<laughs> It'd be I, the Puerto Rican at large. High noon, otherwise known as Mr. Noon, otherwise known as Senor Sweet Pea. You know what I'm saying? Ooh! This is another episode of The Nooner. Yo, today's episode is very special. I'd like you to welcome my good friend and professional hairstylist straight from Dallas, homegrown style. Who? It's the Nuna. Wakanda forever. Hey, it's the Nuna. Oh yeah, ponte el Nuna ya, coño. Alina, my hairdresser, and I'm artist. And Dallas, Texas. And do you know hair color and dreadlocks for five years? Um, I mean, since I was like in high school, yeah. I always like to have all my friends and stuff like that. I wasn't really considered a professional of mine until I got older, but yeah. When I didn't have anything else to do, I was like, I guess I'm really good at that. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> How would I explain an inspiration? Um, that's a hard question. I think inspiration is something that like comes from your own specific art. You just play it off on other people that have similar interests. Yeah, so. I think like if I have something in mind, I end up finding commonalities in like other people and then I'm like, oh cool, they inspire me, but I don't consider them as a specific inspiration. I'm not gonna, then why are you interviewing me? You set your own standards. Like hairdressing is like a never ending learning experience, so it's not really like I'm bored at any point in time. That's how it should be. There's always something else to learn. There's not really like a sole focus. Literally, there's not a lot of like, like Caucasian women that do dreadlocks on multiple races. So that's like a thing. Like I've interviewed at multiple salons that don't have dreadlocks as a part of their services. So that's like kind of crazy, much less coloring dreadlocks. Like it's crazy. Only like Texas, Colorado, Oregon, like only a couple places are really like that. Yeah, we've been closed down for like six months. Yeah, my client earlier was like, the bars are opening soon and we're gonna get shut down again. And I was like, that's really nice to say. You can just experience it and just let it happen, but you just have to be like, so you close down tomorrow. I picked like the one job that was like a skill I could do anywhere. So I'm not worried about shit. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, I chose to like sell art during that. I just like did art the whole time. It's weird changing someone's hair from like completely normal. It's like getting someone a new tattoo. It's like changing their hair from something normal that like their parents would never let them have to like something new. And they're like, damn, I never felt like this in my life. Now I can do, you like give them a taste of doing whatever they want. And then, you know, they have like a little more sense of freedom. That's cool, yeah. I'll be a fairy godmother. Do you want me to go and steal a bunch of shit and like come back? Not everybody does dreads the same way. A lot of people think it's like braiding hair and matting hair around it. it just a bit, literally depends on the client. <laughs> it's amazing because they're like, I fucking hated you for like three, four months, and then out of nowhere, they're like, Wow, this looks amazing. It's awesome. It's like watching a plant grow that you hate. <laughs> you're like, it's so fucking ugly. Like, why do I look like this? And then out of nowhere, you're like, Look at my fucking hair, and it's so long and like. Like you said that earlier, you're like, my hair's getting long. I was like, yeah, remember to short and ugly, like right here? <laughs> I mean, I do it because they want me to do it. I don't do it for me. So it's like a, a sense of like letting go. It still sucks, because I'm like, damn, like I spent like 10 hours on your hair and you just like shaved it off, you know? But it's not my hair. So it's like a form of patience. I gotta like let that go. Everything should be a form of letting go. That's cool. Don't give money to the homeless people. Pay for your parking. <laughs> um, go see live music. Pay the cover fee. Because <laughs> most people don't want to go into the venues because they have to pay a cover fee, but it's like probably the best part of being in the club. Getting a ticket in Dallas sucks. Yeah, you want to get dreads right now, huh? <laughs> I gave you the information, now it's up to you to go get fly. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining me on another Nooner. My name is High Noon. See you on the next one. Uh.